Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. It's your boy Daily Del Solos. Y'all already know, man. Hope y'all are having a great day or a great morning or good evening, whatever it is at whatever time of day that you are watching today's episode. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back. Whoa, the sun's a little bright out there, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's try it right here in this angle. A little bit better, a little bit better. So, got a little something different for us today, guys and gals. As y'all know, normally we are doing either install videos, uh, camping, you know, last week we did the uh, more expo. I got a little something different for us today. I am headed over to Action Tracks. Um, they're actually a local company here in Wichita, Kansas, um, local, local brand, um, which I'm super excited about. I actually got a pair of these recovery boards that I'm gonna go ahead and pick up today. Uh, and show you guys and not only that um, I'm gonna show you guys uh, Casey he's allowed us to come in check out the place and really check out his um, equipment and kind of talk to him a little bit and we'll compare them to my current recovery boards which are my Smitty built recovery boards um, so with that being said that's kind of what we got going on today in today's episode so stick around I hope you guys enjoy it um, but with that being said again let's go ahead and get today's episode started in three Two, one, let's go. Boom, guys, we've officially made it to Action Tracks, man. Let's go ahead and check the place out, man. Like I said, I'm super stoked to be here, given the opportunity to check this out with you guys and uh, for you guys to come along the ride. So let's uh, meet Casey, let's meet the, the crew, and uh, let's see what we got. Hey, welcome to the shop. What's up, Los? What's up, what's up, Hi, Casey? How are you doing, in, man? Dude. So uh, welcome to our humble abode here. This is Action Tracks in Wichita, Kansas. We're 100% made in the U.S. Proud to be right here in the heartland. That way we can get your tracks out to the east coast, to the west coast, to the south, to the north, wherever you need them, quick. Uh, and it's good value to build things here. And a lot of people don't know, but we build 70% uh, of the airplanes in the world here in Wichita, Kansas. So this is an incredible town to be manufacturing in. So let me show you around. Let me show awesome. you what we got. Let me show you what we make. What we make are the world famous action tracks. Some of the highlights are uh, the aggressive end for digging. The capability to link them into roads. The large hand holds for gloves out in the snow. Because a lot of those places they make tracks, they don't have any snow out there. And they come in two styles. We have standard tooth and we have metal tooth that we put US made galvanized hardware in. We do that here in the shop. We put 72 nuts and bolts in them. Anyone can do it, you can do it yourself. Every set of action tracks you'll notice is pre drilled, kind of an overblown center punch there, so that you can drill it out yourself with a quarter inch drill bit, put in a quarter inch by three quarter inch piece of hardware with a nylock nut and a flat wash. See how that's perfectly shaped? You put a flat washer in there. So you just drill it, put a flat washer, put the bolt through. This will be gone by the time you drill it, that'll be worn off. That's why you're drilling them out. So you say, hey, why do you put them on? Why would I buy that like that? Well, they they grab the tire better, and this is the part where they always wear out. So this is for more aggressive, bigger tires, heavier vehicles, heavy-duty pickup trucks, fully loaded with uh, overlanding gear, military up-armored vehicles, light industrial, forestry, mining, so on and so forth. If you want to save a little money and uh, don't mind adding some hardware later yourself, our standard model is the one for you. And this board, because of the material we use that DuPont R&D provides for us, nobody else uses this. It took us two and a half years to develop this. And that's only with DuPont's help. We got very lucky to be a research partner with them. This board should last you a lifetime. There's absolutely no reason that you can't repair this with metal teeth. This should never break. I want to announce right here, I want to announce the Action Tracks Challenge. If you can break these without using a saw, if you can break this with some mechanical means by slamming bricks into it, by dropping them off a building, by somehow mechanically damaging them in a, in a recreated destructive test, I will give you not only a free set of action tracks to replace them, 
but a $500 cash money in your pocket. $500, man, that is crazy. I, hey, I don't have $500, I need $500. Hey, Casey, that's awesome, man. I think you the people are going to love it. You can break your action tracks, I'll replace them, and give you $500. Hey, man, that's awesome, dude. Five. Hey, hey. Okay. Let me show you how we make the <laughs> All right, let's do it. So, we can actually mold, uh, uh, we can mold holes into them. We have 72 replaceable inserts in our 14,000 pound mold uh, with a 10,000th of a tolerance for venting. And it's a big, amazing, complicated machine that makes these. But when we want to do small batches or colors or we run out of those, what we do, it's real simple. We take a drill and an airplane rivet shaver. So we drill a hole. Okay, it comes right through the top of the tooth there. And boom. We do that 36 times on each board. Believe me, man, it gives you Popeye arms. Then we come over here where we install, we put washers in there, take a three quarter inch long by a quarter inch nylon uh, nut. Then we grab our, for the other side, for the other side, put another washer on it, a little galvanized washer there. Little nut luck. Oop, get on there. Get on there, little happy nut. Okay. And. Torque them down. There you go. That's oh. how you make your own nut. Just like that. That's how you repair your own teeth. And you said anyone at home could do this also if they just bought the standard version, right? Absolutely. Um, if you bought the standard version, and you got a quarter inch drill bit and a ratchet and a drill gun, a little bit of hardware, $5 worth of hardware, you start adding teeth. You don't need uh, the other brands, you need a, a specialized wrench. I mean, who has a Torx T50 wrench in their pocket? I don't even own one of those. Um, this is American made hardware, 7 16 nut and bolts, quarter inch drill bit. Go down to the hardware store, get you $5 worth of galvanized hardware off the shelf and repair your teeth and uh, keep on rocking because we're desert racers. We love repairable, dependable, value-oriented gear. I mean, you got to be able to lose it off the top of the truck, go back and get it, and it better not be broken. So that's how we, uh, that's the inspiration that we use for all of our products with Action Tracks, and we stand behind them. No, I like that. I like that. Because that's the last thing you want to do. If something happened while you're out and about either camping, overlanding, like I said, Baja racing, whatever it is, and then all of a sudden you're stuck, can't do anything because your equipment broke, right? They always say, buy once, cry once. I think something like that, right? Something along those lines, but you never want to put yourself in a situation where you buy once, twice, three, four times because the equipment failed to do what it's supposed to do. And uh, that's protect you, right? Recover you, save you, and get you back on the road, man. So then the last step is we come over here, we zip time. We put them in a box, we wrap it up. Like uh, this morning, we've got some going to uh, Escondido, California, Centerton, Arkansas. That must not be a very big place. Hey, Centerton, I'm talking about you. Going to Henderson, Nevada. What's up, Raiders? <laughs> and I uh, uh, got some over here. Going to, uh, oh, what do we got here? We got some posters from our friends, uh, Dennis Hollenbeck, featured in uh, Dust to Glory 2. You see uh, we're a sponsor and part of his race in there. And uh, we're proud to say that we are on the Baja 1000 map. We started out as mechanics, worked our way up to racers, and uh, never imagined that we'd see our little, our little bit on the, on the map. So one thing I want to do, Los, uh, I want to give you a copy of the Baja 500 official course map and a poster from Dennis Hollenbeck. Oh, dude, awesome, man. That's hey. for you, brother. Hey, these will go good right there in the office, man. Oh, and, I've, and then uh, where's, this, uh, where's this package? Oh, this package is going to Wichita. This one's for you, bro. Let's see what's in it. Hey, right, let's take a look at it. Let's, let's take a look at it. it. These are the ones you bought at the show last weekend. It's, uh, we got here for you, but while you're gone, we upgraded them to metal for you. Oh, uh, 
Yo, Casey, hey, I appreciate yeah, bro. you, bro. Heck yeah. Hey, man, that's super awesome. Check this out, guys. Boy, we is not getting stuck anymore. I'll tell you that right now. Look at these things. Like I said, man, I've been to S'more twice, and every time I've managed to get myself stuck. I don't know it's because, if it's because of myself, the vehicle, I don't know. But now that we got these boards, I have 100% faith in these recovery boards that I will not be getting stuck. And if I do, I'll be able to get myself out a lot quicker than what I have been getting myself out in these situations. So, man, Casey, I appreciate this, man. This is awesome, dude. I, I, I wanted this color for this, man. This is super, super awesome. Hey guys, let's, what do you guys think, man? Put in the comments if you guys already have some of these, what you guys think of these, uh, of the action tracks, right? If you don't, if you're planning on getting some, uh, again, put in the comments, let me know what you guys think about it. So if you're my master Casey, how did you get into the business of uh, recovery boards? Sure. So, uh, so I was a, an airplane mechanic here in Wichita, an AMP mechanic. And like I said, I saw this movie of uh, this, this movie right to uh, right here dust to glory and I, I had heard about the Baja 1000 just in whispers and uh, I was watching this movie with a friend and I said I my friend said I've got an old VW we can race in that class 11 the toughest class in racing we'll go down and I said cool man we high five each other and cheers to our beards and he said I'm gonna get it all taken care of I'll get, come back to you tomorrow so I'm going to trade you my VW for your motorcycle out there. Your old beat up motor, my beat up VW for your beat up motorcycle. We'll go race the Baja 1000. Comes back the next day, says I got it all figured out. It's 50 bucks to go race the Baja 1000. I said, I'm in, here's my motorcycle. This was in about 2008. Uh, and we we're sitting in Kansas. Well, turns out that the rule book costs $50. Not to race the Baja 1000, to get the rule book to race the Baja. So I never heard from him again. The car caught on fire and burned up. But I did eventually uh, go down there and volunteer to park cars and fuel cars. And I just uh, I started working on my way through the pits. And um, we just we slept in the dirt. Man, we were the hardest core of the mechanics there. We wanted it worse. And we kept saying we were drivers and uh, uh, co-drivers and navigators and onboard mechanics. And one day. A co-driver didn't show up, so uh, got in the car and started racing. Then, uh, not too long down the road, a driver didn't show up. And I remember the first time a driver didn't show up, they came around a uh, lap two. Each lap was probably 65 miles, so they're going for a couple hours to come back. They said, uh, they're in the lead. And they said, it's your jump in. We need you to take over. I said, oh, no, I don't know. Maybe now's not a good time. I mean, we're in the lead here. And they said, you better get in there and do it because we got other races to go. So uh, uh, we did, we were coming around to the finish line in first place, nothing but smooth daylight and uh, uh, fresh clean air all around us. And we were just on top of a big about a thousand foot plateau in uh, Caliente, Nevada. Me and the car owner, he was, he was riding Navigator and I was driving, it was the first time I'd ever driven. We, oh man, we've been through so much in that 12, 15 hour period to get those 300 miles. This was eight hours or something. and. Uh, we were sitting there looking at the sunset over a thousand foot plateau with the nasty downhill in front of us to the finish line. Ah, just about to congratulate each other and all of a sudden we heard something. We looked behind us and here was another car coming up full speed behind us and we both drove off the edge of this plateau down this thing called Oh My God Hill and about to tumble both these cars in, slide and accelerating because you know when you're going downhill the only way to keep it straight is accelerate, not hit the brakes, accelerate. And down this hill, flying around, trying to barely hold it together, hit the main street in a big cloud of dust. We'd blown all the carburetor out of, uh, all the gasoline out of the bowl in the carburetor. And uh, both cars were dead, our car was dead, and he was back there stuttering. Popped the clutch, and black smoke blew out the back, and we blasted across the finish line. And that was the first race we ever won, Caliente. Um, we went on from there to be lucky enough to be part of Two more Baja 1000 winning teams and one Baja 1000 podium team. This is really rare to get to be a part of uh, that many um, successful runs. We've also tried, we think I've raced it seven times, and uh, six of them, we didn't make it past the halfway point. So we can't expect much 
the only time we've ever had any success was because we surrounded ourselves with great team members. Like Cisco Bio, like Mark Merle, like Dennis Hollenbeck, like Dave Hendrickson and the Hendrickson family. Like who else? We got tons of sponsored racers. Uh, so what's up, Armando Durian out there? Uh, what's up, uh, uh, who, uh, who's racing? There, there ain't no racing going on right now. Everybody's at home. But um, anywho, Sarah Price, yo, come and see us at Action Tracks anytime. We'll be here. We're racers friends. We love you. Keep your money in America. It's a family operation. Boom. Y'all just heard it, man. If that story does not get you excited, does not want to make you buy his recovery boards, then I don't know what to tell you, man. Like I said, he said it. I've said it. Made in America. Made here in our hometown, Wichita, Kansas. And, of course, I'll put his uh, social media in the description, the website in the description, for where you're able to uh, purchase these um, the recovery boards again. I personally am not sponsored or anything, but just the fact that these are, again, local, great products, well put together, man, and just... A great dude, like I said, from the moment I met Casey, you can tell he's a down to earth man. And because of that, you know, you gotta spend your money where customer service goes, man. I, t I told you guys that in my other videos, customer service, I do that for a living. So that's very important to me, man, where my money is given, right? Not just because of a product, but customer service. It's always the after purchase that makes, is a big, big piece to me. So again, Thank you for stopping by the channel, checking it out, man. I, I really, really do hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, y'all's heard it. Casey said it. $500 bonus or challenge if y'all can break them without a saw, right? Is that what you said? Break them without a saw, not torch. I mean, use mechanical, use destructive testing means. Throw them off building. Somehow launch bricks out of a cannon at them. Freeze them rock solid and then drive an airplane over them. I don't care what you do. Take them up in an airplane, throw them out of there. Just get it on videotape. They can't be one of my prototype pairs. They have to be something we made in the last year. They all have a date wheel on them. If you got more questions about it, you want to take me up on it, you're feeling frosty, I love to play. Come and let's see it. Let's see if what we can do. I want to see you blow them up. I want to pay you. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Hey, y'all's already seen it, man. We'll, we'll definitely post it on the, on the Instagram for you guys all to check it out, man. I don't know what we're going to call this challenge yet, yet, but once we do, it'll be posted again on Instagram. I think that's a great opportunity, man, to really put these things through the test. So, guys, I hope y'all's enjoyed it. Again, stop by. Check out the website, man. Again, I'll put it in the description below, and I'll put it right here somewhere. Uh, check it out, man. Do yourselves a favor. Protect yourselves. Protect your investment with, your, with, uh, with the action tracks, like I said. Better to have them and not need them than to need them and not have them. Hit that subscribe. If you're not subscribed and you're thinking about it, check it out. Do it for me. It definitely does help the channel. Hit that like if you like today's video. And with that being said, follow your path. Peace. Peace, much love, and happy dirty trails from the Action Tracks factory.